Hello everyone and welcome to some more rapid action on Lee Chess. Uh, you guys requested um, uh, some more rapid games as, uh, okay, uh, they're not as, uh, you know, played on the level of the players that I usually show, but it's easier to follow and you guys can uh, maybe learn a little bit more from them. So uh, I will continue playing them. Uh, so let's check it out. And it also helps me uh, to at least uh, try and play, uh, you know, actual moves on a daily basis. Um, uh, for example, next uh, next uh, Sunday I have a, a, a classical game in my Croatian chess league, so it will be nice, you know, to, uh, to have a few games played um, uh, before that. So our opponent this game is from India, uh, Ro Ro Rohit Rockstar. 2018 and he opens with e4 uh, and we're again gonna go for the scandinavian defense so he takes uh, and we're gonna take uh so let's uh, see uh, let's see what he does all right so pretty standard stuff and uh, this is why i always recommend this queen to d6 sicilian because everyone uh, pretty much always plays um uh, standard moves against it we're gonna go a6 simply to Fend of the knight and uh, you know the standard uh, knight to f6 and then we're going to decide where what to do with the light square bishop okay so g3 is um uh fairly standard he can play bishop to f4 to attack our queen and uh, here the game can uh, become really really interesting yeah so he does it now uh sometimes okay i've never actually tried this in in uh rapid in in, in bullet i will go queen to b4 uh, without thinking uh, because it uh, creates a very uh, unique experience of a game, uh, but as this is the first time I'm trying it in rapid, I'm also going to try it. I'm going to give up the c7 pawn, uh, pretending I'm interested in the b2 pawn. I'm really not interested in the b2 pawn, and you should never capture it. Uh, there are some lines where you could capture it. This is um, pretty sure this is not one of them. Uh, so we'll see what he decides on the on the c7 uh, pawn. Uh, yeah, I mean, you should definitely take it, uh, but he doesn't. Okay, so he he trusts my judgment. Uh, you should never trust in, uh, someone's judgment in chess. Uh, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe maybe it's actually better not to take the pawn. And now he will go after my queen with moves like a3 and b4. Uh, or he will simply decide that maybe it's too dangerous to keep this pawn on d4, as uh, we do have a lot of pressure on it. All right, so this is another thing that... Uh, we should uh, we should learn uh, how to, how to properly uh, go about this uh, <laughs> uh, bishop to uh, f4 line. Yeah, but there are there are so many nuances uh, when when playing this line. Um, sometimes uh, this square is good for for your piece. Sometimes it's not. So it's really uh, okay. So uh, now I'm pretty sure that this cannot be played. Uh, it looks really weird. Like, I have no idea what to make of this. Uh, okay, so we have time. It's a rapid game. Uh, not, 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 uh, I mean, yeah, okay, I'm, I would spend more time, but I don't see what his plan is. I really don't. Like, bishop captures, knight captures, and maybe c3, is that the plan? Huh. I mean, I would be, I would be amazed if this actually works. Can't, can't possibly be, be true. <sighs> but uh, on the other hand, when I play with white against this line, I, I yeah, he, he does go for c3. Wow. So what am I missing here? He's going to take, I'm going to take. Uh... Yeah, okay. Yeah, really nice, really nice.
I mean, it's not spectacular or anything. I'm just, uh, I'm just probably gonna win a pawn and that's it. Uh, with uh, him being a little bit ahead in development, uh, but I, I, I don't think like it's, it's enough for White. So we'll see. Okay, yeah, he takes with the bishop. Takes with the bishop, and this is uh. Yeah, so same thing every game pretty much. Okay. We have anything better? No, we don't. Yeah, okay. We'll take. We'll take it, move our queen, and prepare pawn to e5. So. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, he probably goes some like h uh, a4 and b4 because now he has to go for the attack. He does have nasty pressure here against my king, uh, but you've seen in the previous video that I've uh, played this line of the Scandinavian. White always has uh, nasty pressure on your king. Yeah, and again, sorry, sorry if my voice sounds weird. Uh, like I said in the previous video, uh, uh, yeah, my my daughter, you know, always brings something from the kindergarten, and uh, it, it always attacks the voice. It's uh, incredible stuff. Now, g4 even. Wow. Okay, I'm, I'm having a harder and harder time believing that uh, this can be played. All right, he's going to go g5 as well, probably. Yeah, well, e5 is super scary here. Like, even if he plays... Yeah, okay, so he's going to attack the pawn. Makes sense. Um... All right, so now it's time to... Hmm. Yeah, okay, he definitely justified uh, being down a pawn. But we're used to that, not a big deal. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to over-push it. I don't want to over-push it. Like I did in the previous game where, you know, okay, B4, B4 is coming probably, or, or you know, Rook rook to d1 but now these are all yeah b4 of course and and b5 next huh ha 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 let's play g5 This uh, positioning of the of the king, queen, and pawn doesn't really look all that impressive. And if he goes here, then I have f6, and then I have e5, uh, everything with tempo. So that doesn't work. Probably he will not accept the challenge. He will just move back with the bishop, but then I'm very happy. Uh, to get rid... Okay, he does. He does accept it. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, let's go here. Yeah, b5, uh, probably we will ignore that. Hmm. Yeah, no, I'm not uh, saying that, you know, he, he got a very nice position for his uh, sacrificed pawn. Uh, yeah, maybe this is, uh, maybe you should. Hmm. If g5, we're just going to attack it further, so I'm, I'm hoping he's going to start weakening his uh, king side instead of going <laughs> uh, for a counterattack. Yeah, okay, so we're going to further attack it. Now b5 has to land. If b5 doesn't land now... Okay, so he will even do that. Okay. Let's take once. 
if the bishop takes, uh, yeah, bishop takes is probably best. No, he takes with the pawn. Huh. I don't think this is very good, but okay. Hmm. Yeah, this is a nice kind of threatening checkmate. But then he will play f3. And we don't really have a good reply to f3. So... So where is the the killer move? We go here. Here with some e5 action. Yeah, now b5 has to be played. Uh, like I said, we're gonna ignore this move because it's not really all that impressive. We're just gonna hide our queen here. We're gonna hide our queen here. And keep an eye on the c7 pawn. We don't want to blunder that. Yeah. We're not touching this. Uh, I'd much rather he, he have uh, the, the open b file than the open a file. Hmm. All right. So it's a pretty wild position. But, uh, you know, if you play the queen d6 Scandinavian, you will always have a pretty wild position. So now I'm even considering queen captures uh, because uh, this is no longer an option due to rook captures on g5. And uh, e5 is coming. e5 will hurt a lot if he doesn't stop it. So some rook move, I I'm pretty sure he has to play it. But then rook d3 also becomes an option. Uh, really crazy, uh, crazy position. Yeah, oh no, he goes for this. Okay. Now, if I'm not getting checkmated, this should be very, very good for me. This should be very good for me if I'm not getting checkmated. Huh. All right. So, how do we do this? So, if I play e5 first, which is, of course, very interesting, he will just capture. I can capture with the king. Uh, then he can capture here with check. So, that's not an option. Our king has to remain um, on, on a light square. Now we play e5. Now we play e5. Uh, there's also some checkmating potential for him, even if he sacrifices my queen. Like, I could very easily imagine, uh, like, a bishop-rook combo checkmating my king here. Uh, but he stops it, uh, or rather, I no longer have to worry about it. Um, oh, queen has a check. Very nice. Yeah, if I open up the light square diagonal, he has a check. Okay. Hmm. Very resourceful. Very resourceful. So we're gonna attack the rook first. Yeah, that's very sneaky of him. Or no, this check, we move the king, he takes the bishop, I take the bishop. Hmm. No, queen is actually better here defending the bishop. Yeah, the queen check, uh, if here, it's not all that useful. Yeah, okay. Not all that useful. Maybe if he doesn't see that my queen is uh, <laughs> defending my bishop. I didn't see it at first. So it is possible that he misses it as well. Uh, or does he want some queen check followed by queen here and then sacrifice the queen for mate as his bishop is controlling this? I don't think he has time for something like that, but, you know, we should... Uh, we shouldn't... Uh, not see stuff like that. Hmm. Yeah, okay, he goes for it. We're gonna go uh, king to not the best square, like I said. Maybe he doesn't see it. That'd be, that'd be a sad way for him to lose. Uh, but now he has to do something. And once my rook enters the game, uh, it's gonna be very hard for him. He can't go here. He has to go somewhere. 
here or here. I can easily shift my queen here. So, yeah, it's not going to be easy. Yeah, this game, I feel like uh, the engine bar was going crazy. Like, uh, he's winning, I'm winning, he's winning, I'm winning. Or maybe he was winning for the entire game, I don't know. But the both of us are really spending a lot of time. We're not just, you know, playing a 10-minute game to, to get it over with in five, five minutes. Yeah, well, if you haven't seen my previous video, uh, brilliant, brilliant game between uh, 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 Bulgaria's number one, Belislava Krasteva and Miao Yilu. Uh, like that, that really is uh, qu quite a game. Do check it out. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I've sort of already uh, imagined that I've won this game, but that, that's, that's a silly thing to do. So I should really look for any ideas my opponent could have. Yeah, maybe this was his plan, but then he realized that the queen is defending the bishop, and then he's like, oh, man. Why? Why you do this? Hmm. Oh, yeah, that's a great move. Sacrifice the bishop for the, for the passed pawn. I like it. I like it a lot. How he takes. Or he takes with the pawn, even better. So, do I want to take the bishop? That's the question. Or do I, do I give check first? No, check first is better. Check first is better. We might not even have to take the, the bishop. Yeah, because now if he goes here... Okay, he, so he goes here. And if I threaten checkmate, he will probably play this. Uh, is there any other move he can do? Queen g2, no. I, I'm pretty sure this is game. Rook e2, I don't have to take the bishop. I have two more minutes, so, you know, I don't have to rush it. I could also just play rook h1 with rook captures here. What do I, what do I prefer? That's the real question. This kind of requires me to calculate a bit more, and I don't see a move for him after rook here. Do I see a move for him? Yeah, if I play rook here, he can play queen here. I capture, he moves the king behind the queen. I trade to take the bishop, and of course it's winning. Okay, so, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's a pretty good time to resign. Unless he, he just uh, doesn't feel like calculating, he's going to play queen to g2 instantly. Uh, but it doesn't uh, do all that much. Okay, so what is this? He's still going to try and play this. Okay. Uh, we're even going to threaten checkmate since he's not resigning. So let's be cheeky about it. He's gonna take now. Maybe he tries to flag me. Maybe he doesn't know I've played 50,000 bullet games. Who knows? Okay, so checkmate. All right. That was a, that was a very nice game. And uh, luckily, my voice survived. And yeah, some, some of you ask, why do I get so many points for a win? It's because I haven't uh, played 20 raiding games uh, since I have my Leeches account, as I've never played Rapid. And uh, for the, like, the first 20 games, you have to you know, figure out what your rating is, and then you gain points. Uh, that, that's why you get so, so many points for a win. But if I lost, I would also lose like 100 points. So uh, you know, it, it will place you uh, where you belong you know, in your tier. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's uh, check it out. Let's analyze this a little bit, because I'm sure this was a, wow, th this was a disaster of a game. So... <laughs> Uh, especially with that, uh, yeah, okay, uh, up until this point, okay, so here already, uh, there are some moves uh, that can be played better, sorry about that, let me just get rid of this, all right, so, uh, bishop to f4, yeah, queen b4 already says it's winning for, for white, like I said, but you have to play a3, uh, but uh, for some reason no one plays it, and that's, um, you know, uh, why, why I actually go for queen to b4, because no one plays it, 
uh, because you can't capture on b2, you're just going to lose the game terribly. So he played bishop to d3, and now my position is just uh, better, bishop to g4. Uh, but this was just a one-time thing, I'm not, like, if I'm doing a video, I'm not going to play this uh, silly queen to b4 line anymore. Uh, you know, not to trick you guys, uh, bishop to b3, okay, uh, and now we're completely winning, uh, but it says, okay, knight captures on d4 should be played right away after castles, uh, and this move, yeah, it's just, uh, knight captures, oh, no, rook captures was better, ah, okay, rook captures was better, rook captures, uh, simply because... Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, I don't know why I played Knight Captures. This was a, a, a really funny few moves uh, at the start of the game. So basically, after all of this, we now have a completely equal game. Yeah. Uh, I'm up a pawn and he's up in development. Wow. Yeah, okay, this is fine. This is fine. Yeah, he, he overdid it with the push of the G pawn. Uh, Queen C6 only move. Yeah, I played that well. Uh, G5 not recommended, but the engine doesn't hate it. So I'm, I'm uh, very happy with that. Uh, rook here, bishop here, okay, f5, says f5 is a mistake, but, I mean, <laughs> what are you gonna do? g5, h6, yeah, h4, not the best, yeah, he, he should have just gone for uh, a rook trade on the d file, captures, captures, now rook h8, sort of best, yeah, I thought about that move, but uh, I didn't like it um, after this f3 idea, uh, I don't know what uh, what the engine has in mind there, and now if f3, just bishop g7, okay. Sure, sure, yeah. Just, you know, pretend like uh, you're playing positional chess, okay. Uh, bishop goes here, okay, he attacked my pawn, this is still pretty equal, and now this is the, the losing move, obviously. Uh, rook to d1, I trade and go e5, yeah, okay, we, we spotted that nicely. Pawn to f4, yeah, we spotted that nicely, okay. And now after captures and captures, uh, there's just no win here. Uh, rook to g8, yeah, even faster even faster uh, with, the th with the threat of checkmate here, but this is also fine, yeah, okay. Uh, so, you know, aside from, aside from basically playing a terrible opening, uh, which is my uh, weakest suit, you know, uh, I, I find some moves in the, in the middle game, I, you know, I, I don't mind playing the end game, but my openings are just dreadful. Uh, so yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, definitely, yeah. Never, never go for queen to b4 again, even if you, you know, uh, survive it, uh, you will, uh, don't play it. Uh, so yeah, this line all together. So we're gonna have to figure out how to, yeah, uh, bishop to g4 right away and don't play silly moves and, you know, just continue playing the game, if you already want to play this line. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's the game. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll, we'll uh, see what happens in the next one. We are already, okay, with this 2141 plus, uh, we're already over 2200. So we'll see. Uh, I, I, I always uh, set my opponents to be uh, higher rated than me. Uh, so we will get someone between 2200 and 2700. Should be very uh, a very exciting game. Uh, and hopefully I will play some better chess. Uh, so yeah, thank you all, I will see you soon, and have an excellent rest of your day, and if you haven't, do check out the game between uh, Miao Yulu and uh, Belislava Krasteva, really, really a wild game. Uh, thank you all, I will see you soon, and have an excellent rest of your day.